Hi everyone, my name is Mary Rose Gallardi. I am the graduate assistant from IUP's Career and Professional Development Center. Um, and today I am joined with Maribel from Lancaster Lebanon Intermediate Unit 13. Um, <laughs> so thank you again for joining us today. We appreciate having you. Well, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. All right, so just to get started, um, if you don't mind just telling us a little bit about yourself and your role within your organization. Sure. So I am a human resources generalist, and that means that I get the pleasure of working to help several departments in recruiting for staff. Um, so we do a lot of recruitment events, interviewing a staff, reviewing applications. And then another big portion of my job is to help with employee relations. Um, so anytime we have problems with employees, employees need uh, assistance or a we're having issues or concerns, it's my job to help um, kind of remediate that and um, also work on different other projects that we have with, within the organization. So lots of human resources stuff, the fun stuff. <laughs> hey, well, that sounds good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. So what do you find that employees and interns like best about your organization? Uh, we are what we have to offer employees in terms of the satisfaction they get from their individual jobs. Um, we're all a big team. What we do is very important um, because we're working with students and educators throughout the state of Pennsylvania. Um, our mission is really important and we're here to serve students. We're here to make sure that the lives of children are better and that we're able to help our communities be stronger. So really it's it's the goal of every employee to try to do the best that they can in you know in in, in that bigger mission. Um, so what we like they like about best is really doing the best that they can to make a difference. Um, to do make work in a job that is making a difference in the life of a child or making the difference in the life of an adult learner. Um, outside of that, our space is really collaborative. Um, our employees are very strong team members and we support that type of environment. Um, another thing about working at the IU 13 is that we're leaders um, for our school districts. Um, so our school districts contract with the, our organization for different types of services for their schools, and those services are completely optional. So we have to do our best to be innovative, to be creative, and to be irresistible in what we are providing our school districts. So um, we are very strong with technology. Um, we are always thinking in the forefront um, as to the future needs and not the present. So we're leaders, we're big on teamwork, and our mission is so important to us. I um, mean, I think that's what people um, like the most about working at the IU 13. Um, we really care about what we're doing and we really care about being the best at what we're doing. Great. Well, it's great to hear. Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of hit on it a little bit, but what makes your organization, in your opinion, unique from other companies? I mean, really, it's the mission and the goal. We're not here to make money. We are a not-for-profit organization. So the money that we take into the, the company, we put back out into the community. Um, um, well, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the question again. So unique from other companies is uh, what we're doing, the services that we're providing, but also the way that we take care of our employees. I think that we have really, really good benefits um, that we offer our employees. We have our own health and wellness centers. So, so we have so far three doctor's offices um, where our employees can go and visit those doctors 100% free of cost. Um, yeah, so that it's something that we're looking to build and grow on, but that's the type of stuff that we do for our, our employees. Um, we also, with our incentives, we offer tuition re reimbursement, um, and it doesn't have to be something specific to education, just as long as it would benefit 
um, the organization as a whole. Um, so if you're interested in technology or if you're interested in you know, the business services side, um, we are more than happy to pay for your schooling um, with that tuition reimbursement program. Um, and so, yeah, I think the way that we take care of our employees and we value our employees, it really shows in what we're able to, pro to provide to them. And so I think that's what makes us unique, that we, we really do care about you um, and we're willing to invest in you as an employee of the IE13. Very cool. Okay, so my next question then is, what is something that most people don't know or may be surprised to learn about your organization? So a lot of people know that the IU, the IUs um, are, well, I'll take that back. A lot of people don't know about the intermediate unit system in Pennsylvania. So everybody thinks about the Department of Education and then their local school district, but we actually kind of sit in the middle. Um, we are part of the PA public school system. So when you think of intermediate units, people are really confused as to exactly um, what that means. Um, and then people who are familiar with the intermediate units think that we work specifically with just special education, but we do a lot, lot more. Um, we provide Head Start um, programs. We work with adult learners as well. Um, and um, we also have different types of initiatives where we provide consultation to educators, not only in the Lancaster and Lebanon area, but really across the state of Pennsylvania. Um, we work a lot with school improvement. Um, and then we have a regional school improvement team that we have staff members working from Pittsburgh to Philadelphia in all our major regions. Um, and then another thing that we do in providing services to our school districts, like I said, it's not special education. We are also um, technology leaders. So we do, that we do STEM seminars. We do um, technology training and technology seminars. And we also provide like the uh, wide area networks to uh, school districts in our areas as well. Very cool. Awesome. Well, that's great to hear again. So <laughs> we can move on to my next one then, which is what is something you look for on a candidate's resume or cover letter? Um, I, when I look at a candidate's cover letter or resume, um, I always want to see that it's applicable to the position that are, they're applying for. Um, so even though it's not an apples to apples, I was an accountant and I'm applying for an accountant position. If you have something similar in your background that you think would apply to your position that you're applying for, let it be known. Um, I want to see that it's relevant. I also want to see that, you know, an organized resume, um, Spelling is important <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make sure that you have, you know, do spell check on your resume and especially your cover letter. Um, and when you are turning in your cover letter, um, we all know that we use a template that we kind of just update depending on the position that you're applying for. Make sure that you have the right um, company <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and job title that you're applying for um, on, your, your, on your cover letter. Um, Outside of that, I mean, it's up to you. I've seen a lot of really creative uh, resumes out there and they're um, with the technology that we have available, um, they're getting uh, more unique. So I appreciate um, a, a really nice and well put together resume. Nice. Well, all very good tips, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips on what students should do or should not do in a job interview? Okay. So I know a lot of our interviews, especially now, um, because of the COVID-19 shutdown, we're going all virtual. So um, dress professionally, make sure that you are acting and dressing in a demeanor that you would if you were go into an office for a face-to-face -face interview. Um, another thing is to make sure that you are on time. If anything should happen and you are on your way to an interview and you're running late, you get lost, um, you've you got the wrong directions, um, anything, anything. Just give us a call and let us know. Um, and that way we can make the decision as to, hey, maybe we don't have enough time left on our schedules to meet with you today. Let's reschedule you for another time. Or, um, or let's just uh, 
yes, we have the time available and we can meet with you as planned. Get here when you can. Um, it's just professional courtesy um, mm -hmm. to let that, you know, the interviewers know if for some reason you can't make it. And we know that emergencies happen and we totally understand. Um, but a no call, no show is pretty bad. I mean, we take note of that and we'll, we'll update you. Know, we'll update our application systems to say, Hey, Mary, Mary Sue, and not you, Mary Rose. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mary Sue didn't show up for her, her scheduled interview and she didn't call to give us the reason why. So maybe we're going to hesitate to give you a call back if you apply for a position later on. Um, but yeah, another thing that you want to do during an interview is to be professional, to be courteous, but to also show us a little bit of your personality because we want to know if you are a good fit for the team as well. So while I, you know, there is kind of like a level where you cross into unprofessionalism, you do want to show that you're friendly. You want to show, um, you know, a bit of your humor. If you can relax a little bit, that's great. Um, don't overshare. Uh, we don't need to know, really, we don't need to know any of your protected information. So if there is an, a, a medical condition that you have, if you have children at home that you need to find babysitting for, um, ethnicity, religion, anything like that, um, we don't need to have that information. It's actually your private protected information and it's illegal for us to have. And if you're interviewing with someone who asks you that, you can decline to give that person that information, decline respectfully, <laughs> but yeah. just let them know, hey, um, I don't feel comfortable in sharing that um, because we all have underlying biases. And even though we are, um, it's illegal for us to use that information against you in the hiring process, with our underlying biases, you could um, unknowingly put something in somebody's head and they could hold that against you without them actually knowing that they're doing that. So don't share your protected private information, but do share a little bit about yourself. I want to know the type of person you are and how you're going to get along with our team. Yeah, that's a really great point and great advice. We, I know when I talk to students about interviewing, we always talk about illegal questions. So mm -hmm. great point, finding that line between <laughs> being personal and, you know, knowing your professional boundaries. So thank exactly. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my next one is then, what opportunities are available for alumni, soon to be alumni, and then current students with your organization? All right. So to be honest, a lot of what we are currently hiring for are classroom-based staff. So we always are on the lookout for special education teachers. Um, so uh, those of you that are in um, teacher certification programs, great. We love you. Please keep an eye on our website, iu13.org. Um, we have a number of positions available within special education. Um, we uh, do preschool early intervention, which is grades or ages three to five, and then we do K to 12. Um, we also have needs for adjunct um, adult education teachers, um, and they work with uh, adults within the community uh, for, uh, I guess, for GED purposes for the most part, um, and uh, bilingual um, English language preparation courses. Um, we also are always hiring for office positions as well. So we'll hire for technology staff. We, uh, one of the things that we do is we develop applications for our, not only for ourselves, um, but for our school districts when it comes to human resources, time and attendance, um, educational stuff like IEP writing. Um, and so we have a really big technology staff. Um, so we're always looking for um, application developers or web design, communications, um, just really anything in the special education field and then office uh, workers as well. Another thing that we offer is the ab ability to, for current students to work as substitutes while, while they are in 
rolled in school. So during school breaks, if you have days where you have off, you have the ability to pick and choose the days that you want to work. It's super flexible. You're only working um, a minimum of six days per school year in order to stay on as an employee. Um, so it's a good option for students to earn a couple dollars uh, while they're currently um, taking classes. And then we will typically have summer school sessions as well. So if you want a job during the summer, we have um, something that's called ESY, Extended School Year. Um, that typically runs the end of June to the end of July. Um, and you're working directly with students in the classroom setting, helping teachers um, provide uh, services to those students. Awesome. Um, so then before we finish up, is there just one piece of information you'd like to leave students with? Um, I would say, you know, good luck in your careers. I know that it's a tough time now, especially with things being so hectic, how things are so very unknown. Um, you know, I, I'm hearing that it's going to be a tough year for recent graduates when it comes to the availability of positions out in the marketplace. I wish you the best of best of luck. Um, I would encourage you to you know, please come to our website, see what we have available. Um, we are always hiring. Um, being, you know, part of the education system, we're not going away at any time. So there's no, um, we're not looking at dismantling our organization. We're not closing down anytime school soon uh, because schools are never gonna close as far as I know and aware of, we are always gonna find a way to provide our students with instruction. So we're doing everything virtual now. Um, things may change in the future and look a little bit different than what they look like now, um, but we're always gonna be around. Um, and so for new grads or people who are looking to graduate soon, um, I wish you, like I said, the best, the best of luck. Um, be persistent, go after the jobs that are in your field. You went to school for a very long time um, and you are studying to um, be in a specific career, don't give up on that. Even if you have to have a job in the interim, um, just to kind of pay those bills, keep going after the job of your dreams. Awesome. Well, that was great um, advice and some great information that you shared with us. So um, thank you again for joining our little session here. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, Mary Rose. It was a pleasure talking with you. Yeah, you too.